Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Mississippi Girl Life. A little bit about me, I am Tamika, just a country Mississippi girl living in North Carolina. I am the wife to a Marine Corps veteran who is also a New York City boy. I am 34 years old and I am the mother to three children ages 15, 12, and 11. My channel is a variety channel aimed to inspire and motivate you in many different ways. Also, don't forget to check out the description box because it contains many special links. Please like, comment, and subscribe because it does help out the channel. I hope you guys enjoy my content and I will see you in the video. Okay, y'all, so I'm getting ready to move stuff um, into the outside for the winter garden. So, mama I told you I was going to show you. You see these carrots did well inside. Um, and my mustard greens did really, really good inside. And around here, I got, I got a fertilizer. Um, I got some collard greens and stuff growing, but I'm going to take all these outside because I, since I'm growing outside anyway, I might as well. And that'll give me more time for doing the stuff in here that um, that really needs to be growing inside because these are all cool weather crops. And I just wanted to show y'all that you can grow them indoors. That was the whole purpose of this. So, um, oh, and I pulled these up. Um... But I want to show y'all. I pulled them up. I thought I was recording and I wasn't recording. So I'm going to show y'all. These are some radishes that I pulled up. These grew inside. Yes. they. Uh, these are the cherry bellas. I think these are cherry bellas. They don't get that big. See. Um, but these are radishes. And I went on and pulled them up because I got some new ones I'm going to pop in. But when I pop them in, they're going to be outside. So, yeah. So y'all can see firsthand. You can grow indoors if you don't have a um yard okay so i want to show y'all what's going on in the grow tent before we go outside to look at what's going on out there um so i got my cabbage my bok choy y'all remember when i dropped these seeds so everybody is growing very very good right here my dwarf um sugar snaps is doing really really good um broccoli brussels sprouts ain't came up yet only one cabbage came up that's good Right here, my cilantro is coming up. Um, the thyme and the parsley ain't came up yet. Some turnip tops came up. Swiss chards coming up. My sugar snap peas, they're going to be growing in the garage. Um, my Cherokee wax beans, they came up. Perfect. Then down here, I got some collard greens and some more turnip greens. I got a transplant. They're going to go outside. Um, and then over here is some of the red lettuce and the, um, the gourmet lettuce that I kept inside to grow in here. But let me go ahead and show y'all. So the corn came up. Um, well, some of it has come up. This one right here has came up. And this is one of the yellow corns. All these is corn down here. So right here I see corn came up. And this is yellow corn and i see right here some is coming up i don't know if you can see but this is a white corn so gotta wait for some more to germinate and get them all going all nicely so first let's go in the garage i'm gonna show you what i did in the garage then we're gonna go outside okay y'all so i still have more to do um out here but as you can see, I took all my greens and stuff outside. Because like I told you, you see that you can grow it and you can harvest it. Um, so now I just have like my things that's frost, uh, that's not frost tolerant. Um, like my vine peach, which I got to come out here and water. My snap peas that I need to go ahead and get my trellis from my side. I have to do that today because we're supposed to be 76 degrees today. Um, so I'm loving the next. We're supposed to be warm all, all week um up until next monday so yeah so right here is my um pop choy and my kale my kale was taking a little hit um look like something has been trying to eat on that so i'm gonna take care of that out here my red cabbage when i transplanted they was taking like not red cabbage red mustard they was taking a little hit but now i see that they are bouncing back just fine um then right here i have my cilantro and stuff which i gotta organize all this i'm getting to that um and then down here i just put um some of my trees remember she was 
ball she got a couple more leaves than the last time i showed y'all so i'm letting her do her thing we got some new growth and stuff coming right there so i'm letting her do her thing um this was the blueberry bush the last one that i got it wasn't it was doing something weird um so i'm letting it do what it do um and then just go from there because sometimes y'all we buy this stuff and i don't know what it been went through at the stores but it don't be right okay all right now y'all so we outside yes 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 i did i did <laughs> i did y'all wanted me to grow outside so hey here we go uh so got my switch charts over here uh got my switch charts over here um these are my collets right here my morris morris heading collets um some of my lettuce my red lettuce and stuff gourmet lettuce these are my collets that I started from seeds they are doing really good out here um right here is some more collars I started from seeds these are some mustard greens I started from seeds um y'all know all these I started from seeds so yeah I got onions back there um my carrots right here yeah I bought the carrots out early snowball cauliflower everybody's doing good Bravo cabbage over here. Um, marathon broccoli over here. Of course, these are my trees. And yeah, so that's what it's looking like. So um, on down here, I decided to just go ahead and make the bottom deck also part of the winter garden. So I got my um, Brussels sprouts right here. They are doing wonderful. And then I went on and took the rest of my greens out of that bed because I want to keep this limited because y'all know this is all for the spring and summer so I wanted to keep it limited so I just made it up here um, so I got some turnip, um, turnip top purple globe right here I got some more cottage greens right here and I got my mustard giants right here so I took them up from over there and replanted them here in a grow bag and these are going to be carrots okay so yes y'all that's how everything is looking so stay tuned at the end i'm about to put a clip right here i went to walmart um yesterday so i'm about to put here what i saw at walmart it was just some flowers but i'm gonna just go ahead and insert that clip here okay so yeah i had to come to walmart for a minute and they got they flowers um it should be marked down we don't have a price but uh they flowers or um but they still have a few flowers i'm looking at this right here um i don't know how much it is i'm hoping that it's marked down because i had one of these last year hey i had one of these last year and they did really really good i'm actually thinking about getting one of these um it say you just add water so, um, just add water and enjoy. I think I'm going to get one of those. They're real cute. And like I said, I had one last year. But let me go around and show you. Just some little flowers. Tulips. Tulips. And then I saw these right here. A little three-piece garden tool set and gloves. They say they $10. I'm not sure if that's the price. But they say they like little bonus sets. For um, $10. But I don't know if they still $10, you know? Okay, y'all. So that's the end of the video. I hope y'all had an amazing time watching and you enjoyed the content. Once again, don't forget to check out the information in the description box below. Also, like, comment, and subscribe because, like I said, it helps out the channel. And I hope y'all have a safe rest of your day, morning, or whenever you're watching this video. Be safe, and I will see you in the next one if it's God's will. Bye.